Hello, Fancy Farm! Now, it has truly been an honor to be invited to speak here on behalf of the Libertarian Party of Kentucky. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And so anytime I have an opportunity to come someplace that's cooler than Phoenix, Arizona in the summer, I take it. It's been beautiful today. The food is delicious. St. Jerome's, everybody who's involved, this is a wonderful event. And y'all are so charming and polite. And I think that's why people come back here. Now, I was hoping to meet your governor. And I'm not sure if it was just too far for him to find, or it is kind of a, you know, they move the location, right? I mean, it's not, it's not been here before, has it? I, I heard he might just be out shopping for property. You know, weekends are good for real estate shopping. That's what I've heard. I'm sad that I didn't get an opportunity to shake Senator McConnell's hand because he had to rush on out of here. And I wanted to say thank you to him because the work that Senator McConnell and the Republican Party that controls both houses of Congress and the presidency is that the work that they're doing, recruiting for the Libertarian Party, is better than anything I could have ever done. There's no better answer for people who ask, why shouldn't I be a Republican, than watching them take both houses of Congress and the presidency, and they can't even repeal the bill they've been talking about repealing for seven damn years. I notice the people on the right side of the aisle are a little quiet at that, because they were talking about how much success they've had. And you know, maybe McConnell had to get back to Washington so he can continue to not get anything done. Now I want to talk about health care a little bit, because the Libertarian Party agrees with the Republicans. On one thing, we should repeal Obamacare. But the Republicans and Democrats have a debate. The Democrats think it should be two government bureaucrats and an insurance company executive between you and your doctor. The Republicans, in a bold m new kind of health policy, they sh should be two insurance company executives and a bureaucrat in between you and your doctor. Yeah. Libertarians just want you to get good health care. Nobody wants health insurance. Nobody wants billion dollar bailouts for the health insurance companies. No one wants big government and big business working together and all your senators and congressmen just getting richer. We want good health care like they have other places of the world, where the consumer drives it, where your doctor is affordable, where you know what you get. Now, libertarians are known as having some crazy ideas, and it's true. We have the crazy idea that we shouldn't send brave Kentucky men and women overseas to die in other countries' civil wars. We have the crazy idea that when they come back here broken and injured in those wars, that put money in the pocket of defense contractors and lobbyists, that they shouldn't get hooked on opioids, that they shouldn't die of suicide or overdose, that they should be able to treat their PTSD and their pain with a safe and effective drug like cannabis. I don't know why my friends on both sides of the aisle want to have our veterans keep coming back here and dying of opioid overdoses. Because neither of them have the bravery to stand up and legalize marijuana here in the state of Kentucky. Now when we legalized marijuana in Colorado, it wasn't just piles of money for the schools, it wasn't just more peaceful streets, it wasn't just a decline in violent crime. We did lose some jobs. The Mexican drug cartels lost a lot of farming jobs. Now, I don't know. I heard in Kentucky they have some good farming. Is that true? Well, why not have a farming industry in Kentucky that actually provides good jobs, that can fill the pension hole? Why not have a farming industry in an industry that's growing? Why not legalize marijuana? Up and down your ballot in 2018, libertarians are going to be running for office in Kentucky. And if you're tired of these guys fighting over who gets to take your money and give it to their special interest friends, 
If you want real freedom, vote Libertarian. Live free, Kentucky!